way to the ranch as we speak. Two different crews, five people total uh, right now there on the ground in southwest Texas. Madsen's by himself. He'll be linking up with the team tomorrow. That's why he joins us via telephone. But look at this article out of the New York Post. Detectives question lack of autopsy in Scalia's death. Bill Ritchie, a retired deputy chief and former head of criminal investigations for the D.C. police, said he was dumbstruck when he learned that no autopsy would be performed. Oh, and then we've got another head detective and then another head detective, and we've got the New York top retired detective. I mean, it, I, I don't, I, I've already gone over all this, but the point is, dumbstruck. See, I said I'm dumbstruck by them instantly announcing no foul play, go to sleep, nothing happened, an anonymous call said. I, I mean, that just is insane. And then I said, Saturday night, I said, if they claim no autopsy real fast, get ready. And then the rest of the story started changing. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, this is ridiculous. And then they go on to point the pillow over the head. Why would you tell us there was a pillow over the head? I mean, this is just unbelievable. Joining us is Wayne Madsen. Wayne uh, great job getting out there so quick because I know you got to take a few flights from where you're at on the East Coast to get to El Paso. And you know, our team's a few hundred miles away from you in this giant state. You're going to be meeting up with them soon, <laughs> actually out there uh, at the ranch itself. But, uh, Wayne, tell us exactly what you've discovered since you got on the ground. Well, I dropped by the uh, funeral home where they actually uh, took uh, uh, Leah's body uh, from the ranch uh, uh, Cibola Creek Ranch, which as you say, it's three and a half hours uh, drive from El Paso, uh, and uh, it's a very remote area. Uh, but uh, they, they, what happened? Uh, the, what happened with the body is uh, uh, the, the closest funeral home to the ranch, Alpine Funeral Home in Alpine, Texas, uh, which is probably about a twenty-minute drive from the ranch, sent. Uh, Cadillac first to pick up the body, but you know, I mean, what's odd is they could have. There's an airstrip over there uh, near the ranch. They could have flown the body to El Paso, but it's uh, you know they chose uh, this uh, sort of motorcade of a of a Cadillac first and a and an accompanying white SUV that drove three and a half hours uh, to get to El Paso, where of course there was no autopsy. Uh, perform now. I just stopped by uh, the funeral home where he was taken, Sunset Funeral Home, um, and um, I actually spoke to the guy who embalmed uh, Justice Scalia's body. And um, well, good job. I mean, Nobody he, else has done that that I know of. Good job, Wayne. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, it, it gets even more interesting. I, on the outside chance, and, and of course, I, I have to preface this by saying the funeral home uh, is preparing an official public release uh, statement, so, you know, to protect the privacy, honor the privacy of the family. Uh, I was not given any details uh, per se, but um, I, I did ask about what is the normal procedure to get rid of the bodily fluids after an embalming? That would be, you know, the blood and other um, fluids drained from the body. Uh, well, I'm, I, um, to my chagrin, I discovered that... Uh, uh, the, the bodily fluids were basically flushed into the El Paso municipal sewage system. Uh, so, you know, no special precautions taken. They're not, they weren't sealed for possible future analysis. Uh, I mean, even, even though an autopsy wasn't performed, I understand that uh, the blood could, and urine could yield some toxicology results. Well, Although, obviously, I, that's a huge deal. Headline, funeral home. Scalia's uh, bodily fluids dumped down the drain. Basically down the drain, yeah. And and uh, that is Texas law. There is no, um, as far as biohazards or any of that, I mean, that, that's another interesting side, uh, side part of this. Well, we're about to go to break. Uh, Come back not... and tell us more of what you discovered. But just briefly, how big a deal is it that detectives all over the country, senior detectives, you know, over homicide investigations, are saying this is just dumbfounding what's happening? Well, I hope to get uh, Mr. Ritchie, the uh, retired homicide uh, detective in D.C., I hope to try to uh, contact him at some point because uh, he certainly dealt with enough of these uh, high visibility uh, deaths in the District of Columbia for 
for a number of years. So I didn't think of that said, angle. Stay there. Let's talk about that yeah. straight ahead. Absolutely. Uh, he's an expert. He ran the division. So think about that. And he's saying this, this totally stinks to high heaven. And he deals with all the murders in D.C. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got five reporters and crew down in southwest Texas. It is just a gigantic area uh, in, in between towns routinely. We are talking about hundreds of miles. Uh, now, we have a video Skype connection right now with David Knight, and uh, we're establishing that right now. Joe Biggs is down there. Uh, they are closer to the ranch, about to be there. But then we also have Wayne Madsen, investigative journalist, uh, who is in El Paso and was just going over the amazing you know, fact that they did indeed embalm him. The media was trying to find that out, and they wouldn't say. And that his blood, and I guess what was in his guts, the rest of it, was, I guess, just dumped down the drain. You know, just don't want to save any of that and see what happened. Just found the pillow over his head. And we've got all these prominent detectives, some of them heads of homicide, former, current, you name it, just saying that they're, quote, dumbfounded. And it's the speed of all this. It stinks to high heaven. We're going to be talking about that here in just one moment. But first, I didn't even plug last hour, folks. You listen to every other show, they plug every 10 minutes. And I get it because they can't fund themselves if they don't. I'm so focused on the news, I don't focus on funding us. We have the highest quality products, whether it's nutraceuticals, Patriot t-shirts, you name it. You're going to find anywhere. And your purchase is essential to what we're doing. It's a very expensive to run a media operation like this. And look, notice how... I was working Saturday night, boom, hit him, and now that broke through, and the Scalia thing's being looked at now. And that gives political cover for folks to come out behind me, like police detectives and others. That's my job, hitting barbed wire. I mean, I am a shock troop, make no mistake about it. And I want to be a shock troop. I'm just saying, provision us, pray for us, support us, buy the products. They're great products. All the estrogen mimickers and chemicals, I mean, this is just all natural. It's changed my life. The type of products like Super Mill Vitality, Anthroplex, the newest product, uh, the Brain Force, the other amazing products, Secret 12, Winter Sun. We've got the new Hillary for Prison shirt, another uh, a new shirt out that's very popular. That's a limited edition. Available at InfoWarsLife.com or InfoWarsStore.com. But Anthroplex is expected to sell out really about tomorrow, except for the few hundred we hold back for those who have signed up for auto ship. So now is the time to secure your bottle today before we run out, InfoWarsLife.com. We are being forced to uh, take down the Super Mill and Anthroplex combo special in order to hold back bottles of Anthroplex for auto ship customers. But for this week only, you can get Super Mill or Super Female Vitality for 20% off at InfoWarsLife.com. Start fighting back and rebuilding your foundation. Visit InfoWarsLife.com and secure your bottle of Anthroplex or Super Mill Vitality before we sell out. That's InfoWarsLife.com today. And again, whether it's non-GMO seeds, the widest selection, wide selection of high-quality water filters, uh, everything you need, folks, we just sell and promote stuff that I like and use, and then we just you know, get you lower prices on it. Whether it's colloidal silver or lung cleanse or oxy powder, Funding us, you see the results. You see the studios getting built and being bigger. You see more reporters, more articles, more breaking news. And, and every day, every week, we're making international news and hurting the globalist. I mean, we are in here like vicious pit bulls savaging the enemy. And they're hacking us in the head with hatchets and kicking us and shooting at us. We're just, I mean, we're not backing down. We're committed. We love it. We were born to fight. We're going in. We're not stopping. We're going in through and beyond. Collision course. It's never felt better. That's just, just a don't cry for me, whatever goes down the road. Just support our info. Support our crew. Support us. That's what we ask for in your prayers. Infowarslife.com. There's a bunch of other specials as well. Uh, they're just running today. Infowarslife.com. Infowarsstore.com is the big umbrella site. So check it out today. Finishing up with Wayne Madsen, and then he's going to be linking up with our crew soon, writing articles for InfoWars.com. This is obviously big news uh, on the whole situation with the, uh, with the funeral home. Uh, Wayne, other points that I'm going to shift gears uh, to David Knight uh, and crew. Yeah, I, one other thing I noticed about the funeral home uh, that they took, Scalia, it, it uh, has a side what they call it, if anyone's seen VIPs when they come into a hotel, they usually erect a tent or they go through a tunnel. 
so you can't really see the person leave the car or enter the car. Well, uh, this particular funeral home, which was basically recommended by an unnamed friend of Scalia, a close friend of Scalia. I don't know if it's the other unnamed, the same unnamed friend who traveled with him from Washington to the ranch. Uh, but um, so the, the hearse would have pulled in. There was media all over the area. But no, you would not have been able to see uh, either the casket being removed from the hearse and taken into the funeral home, nor would you have seen who accompanied uh, in the uh, hearse and the SUV uh, Scalia's body. That might have yielded uh, some information, of course, about the identities of who was with him and uh, uh, who maybe this unnamed friend of, of his was who came down from Washington. Now, I think it's important to note that in the past, Scalia has often traveled to Texas to go quail hunting and dove hunting. And his hunting uh, partner, who is his very close neighbor, lives very close to him in McLean, Virginia, is Dick Cheney. Uh, now, Scalia was not, as far as I know, at that ranch where uh, Cheney uh, shot the, the old lawyer, uh, Harry Whittington, who's still alive at the ripe old age of 88. Uh, but um, uh, I, I understand that when Cheney was asked what he thought about the death of his friend Scalia, his, his answer was uh, not really what you would consider a eulogy. He said no comment, um, which, again, is unusual. Um, what do you make out of all this, Wayne? I'm wondering right now, I think we also have to focus on this John Poindexter, not a felon from Iran-Contra, a different one, not the retired Navy admiral, but uh, we should focus on him and just what was going on, uh, you know, here, Scalia, uh, a long three-day weekend because of the President's Day holiday Monday, but it was Valentine's Day on Sunday, and he decides to come down for this, like, the boys are going to get together and go quail hunting and leaves his wife up in Washington. Uh, the last time I ran into somebody who was not with his wife on Valentine's Day was with the, with the boys, so to speak, uh, was back in 06. Uh, Valentine's Day, February 06, and it was uh, Dennis Hastert who chose uh, not to be with his wife, who stayed at a hotel in Washington after flying into D.C. from uh, from Chicago. Mm. Uh, she said, I'm staying uh, staying alone tonight in a hotel. So, Very, um, very unusual. interesting. Now, now, now expanding on this, you're going to be following up some other leads, linking up with the team, uh, and uh, continuing to report over the next few days for us. So we'll look for that report at Infowars.com on the bodily fluids uh, of the Supreme Court justice dumped down the drain, uh, basically into the river there in El Paso, right. Texas. Uh, Wayne Madsen, thank you so much for uh, getting down there so quickly. Okay, you bet, Alex. Thank you. And again, if Wayne has more to add, he can pop in in the next hour with Dew as well. I know he's got a lot of stuff developing. Uh, and the same thing for Richard Reeves.